When I grow up, I want to be the President of the United States, not just for myself, but for the whole world and country. Before the United States was one of the superpowers of the world, the other was the Soviet Union. But now many more countries are becoming competitive with the United States. So I want to give all of my efforts to make my country stand out. And if my dream came true one day, and I was the president of the United States, I would do so many things. For example, make sure my people follow the laws, make speeches about freedom, justice, and more, make business for the unemployed, build shelters for natural disasters like tornadoes and earthquakes, and finally let more immigrants into the United States. And that's just one part of it. And I've got all these thoughts and plans, so you should believe I'm serious about my dream now. But sadly, not everyone around me takes my dream as seriously as I do. And not everyone around me is so encouraging all the time. I mean, I haven't talked about my dream for years. I don't know why. I just don't. I mean, I asked my mom why, and she told me a little story. When I was a little three-year-old and was back in preschool, a teacher at a school party asked us about asked us about our dream, and I said, "Well, I want to be president of the United States one day." And he laughed, and I don't think he was trying to be mean. He made us think I was cute for dreaming that big. But I felt embarrassed about dreaming that big, though, since I mean, he laughed at me. I was a three-year-old. I don't think you're expecting me to be so confident, and. I wasn't confident. In fact, I was very unconfident and very sensitive compared to the air I am now. I mean, I can stand laughter's both in a good way or wrong way. But again, I never talked about my dream from then on to anyone other than my parents. And until this year, our second grade teacher, Miss Murphy, asked us to write about our dream. And I was very, I was so ready to write about a fake dream, but my mom told me to open up to my teacher. She also encouraged me to do that, and I did, and I'm glad I did because she wrote her comments to me. And of course, a comment does not count as a laugh. Of course, from a lot what I know, but just so you know that, dear Max, you're a little boy with a big heart. Remember, you can never dream too big. You have got my vote. And what I'm trying to save my time is along the way to pursue your dream. Some may understand, some may not. Some may be supportive, some may not. But no matter what it takes, try to be positive and confident all the time. Will you be brave enough to grow your dream? I know I will, and mine is and mine is to become the president of the United States. Remember, vote for me.